Hi everyone, it's Haley Hamer, the founder of House of Tesla Beauty. I'm here to show you how to apply your House of Tesla lashes. Your House of Tesla lashes are reusable up to 25 times. They're handmade and they come in a nice handy dandy box here. And you'll see that it has a magnetic closure. That keeps these safe so that way if you're traveling or you throw them in your purse or you have them in your work bag or anything like that, you can just re reinstall them into their case here and close the case there and they're secure. Now you want to take your lashes out of the box. You open the box, you'll take the little ribbon here and pull that out and the plastic will pop out with your lashes. You want to always take your fingernail or finger and take the band and gently remove it from the plastic. You never want to just pull it or pull the lashes from the lash because that will dislodge the lash from the band because these are handmade so they are a little delicate. Always gentle movements. That's the best way to do it, I believe. So again, you'll just take your fingernail or your finger and go from the inner corner from the band and gently remove from the plastic. And there you have it. Another way to release your lashes from the plastic are to kind of bend the plastic box here and gently get as close as you can to the band and remove the lash from there. Now that your lashes are able to move from the plastic, you want to take your lash and measure it on your eye. You'll take it and you will set it. And sometimes it's nice to have a little compact so that way you can see up close if you don't have a big magnifying mirror or anything like that you can get close to. And you just set it on your eye here. And you measure how much you want to take off. I always suggest trimming from the outside corner of the lash. This is the inner corner, this is the outside, and trimming off the excess that you need to. And I always recommend taking off less than you think um, because then you can always go back and keep trying to measure it and take off more. You can never take off <laughs> too much and then put it back on, unfortunately. So, since this is your fancy lash, you want to make sure you only cut off what you need. So cut off a little bit and then go again and measure and see if you need to take off a little bit more. I also recommend if you need to take some off, go ahead and keep those little pieces that you, the excess that you have, and you can leave them in your box here. And then if you ever have a fun look you want to do, you can always add it on to the bottom lash or onto the top of your lashes and add a little more volume on the outside corners of your lash or anything like that. It's kind of a fun way to reuse and recycle what you have left. And they add up after a while. After you buy a few, you'll have a few of those little extra pieces and you can add them on the bottoms of your eyelashes for cool Halloween looks or fun formal looks, something like that. Now that your lashes are prepped and they're custom to your eye and you've made sure and measured, they're ready for your application, I'm going to show you two different ways to apply your lashes and what kind of adhesive to use. Um, you do need to buy some adhesive. We have a duo adhesive here, which is the dark one, so it's going to be a black color. And then there's a Kiss one here that I really enjoy, and Duo has one that's just like this. It's clear. It has a brush on here. This one's latex-free, so it doesn't irritate your eye if you have a latex allergy. And what you will do if you're going to use a duo tube like this, you'll put a little bit right there and then set it aside. This is one of the most important steps. You want to make sure that it's getting tacky, so you need to give it 30 to 45 seconds. What do you do in the meantime? I feel like everyone just tries to jump in and get their lashes on as soon as possible, but what you want to do now is if you need a, your lashes to be curled, I do recommend your lash to have a little bend in it, not curled where it's like too much because then that's hard to apply the lashes. It actually pushes the lash off. 
So what I recommend is make sure your lash has a little bend. My lashes kind of always have a little bend. If you notice, I don't curl them. They just always have a little bit of a bend in it. Um, if you don't and you have straight, straight lashes, you do want to curl your lashes and just go in there and give it a little, a little bend for a few seconds. Nothing crazy. You don't want it to be too curly, just a little bit. So it has something to kind of hold it up and it mixes the lashes together then. Also, now you can apply your mascara. And I do recommend just putting a little bit of mascara on just because that helps the lashes look and blend together a little more and gives the lashes something a little more stable to set on. And they don't feel quite as heavy whenever you have your mascara on there. Now we're ready to apply the glue. Remember the glue has been sitting here and it's been getting tacky. And when it gets tacky, it's this gray color and then it turns a little more of a blackish color and it's ready to apply. So I'm taking a little bit on the end of a spoolie here, taking my lash and I'm gonna see if I can get this to cooperate. And you just put a thin layer on your lash band. Very thin layer. I don't know if it'll... There we go. So that's a very thin layer on here. Another tip. Wave it in the air. If you have a fan going, make sure that you're getting it tacky. Never blow on it because germs... <laughs> And we're going to get up close to the camera so y'all can see. My hair is all in the way. You're just going to set that lash right in the center there. And then you're going to tug it over to the side here. And use your fingers just to pat it down into that lash line. And there you go. Now that we have one applied with the duo black lash glue, I just put that on the band. This is another way to do it with a brush applicator. And you'll see here that it has a little bit on here and you can either put it on the band a thin amount like you did on the other lash or you'll take a tiny bit on this brush. You will then apply a thin amount on your lash line right above your lash line here. Let that get a little tacky and then we'll apply it. Now using this brush technique, it does dry a little quicker. I feel like it gets a little more tacky quicker. So you don't have to wait quite as long as you do when you're doing it with the tube. I am going to now set that lash in the center here like we did the other one. And you pull it over. and set the inside and then use your fingers to really push those lashes together. Now that we have you all lashed up, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please contact us at houseoftesla.com. And until next time, have a fabulous day.